Hi, I'm Mike Stanton. It's October 18th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm here with Brian Babler from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Brian, thanks for taking some time away from the desk. Thanks, Mike. So a relatively light week on the economic data front, uh, but a fairly active market, particularly on new issues for munis. What stood out to you? Well, we did see a pretty volatile week uh, in rates overall, but uh, but generally a- after Thursday's moves, uh, which was a reversal in Treasury yields, uh, we're heading into the end of the week pretty close to unchanged overall in, on the Treasury side. Uh, after rallying Wednesday and Thursday, uh, we saw better than expected retail sales and lower than expected initial jobless claims uh, fuel uh, a pretty big sell off on Thursday uh, throughout the day. Uh, and, you know, really led to some fe- speculation that the Fed will need to leave rates maybe a little higher for a little longer, um, which really triggered a sell off uh, to the tune of nine basis points higher in yield in 30 years, seven basis points higher in yield in 10 years, five basis points higher in five years, and three basis points higher in two years. Uh, that brings the week over week change as of Thursday afternoon. Uh, to all in two basis points lower in yield in 30 years, one basis point lower in yield in 10 years, flat in five years, and two basis points higher in yield uh, on the Treasury side in two years week over week. Uh, on the other hand, munis you know, really outperformed sell-off, uh, finishing mostly unchanged uh, and uh, according to the, uh, to the BVAL AAA uh, yield curve, uh, which brought uh, week over week changes uh, to tax-exempt yields lower by one to two basis points through 10 years and uh, and about five basis points out long. So uh, as you mentioned, big week in supply, uh, over 15 billion came to market. Uh, that was all digested pretty well. Certainly Wednesday, uh, Tuesday and Wednesday were a little bit more constructive markets uh, for pricing deals, but Thursday turned into a, a generally a mixed bag, but, uh, but overall it sounded like deals did, uh, did uh, decently well. Um, we had a very active week at BAM. We insured over $600 million in par. Uh, some of the highlight deals included a $340 million transaction for West Contra Costa USD, which was priced by J.P. Morgan. Uh, we also insured an $83 million Westchester University student housing deal, which was priced by Raymond James, and another uh, J.P. Morgan deal, $55 million priced for El Paso County Hospital District. Great. And also on the demand side, very robust week again. I think it was the 16th consecutive week of inflows to muni bond mutual funds. Lipper reported $1.7 billion of inflows uh, to the funds this week. So a very strong uh, demand environment as well, matching up uh, both sides as we uh, continue that sprint into the election. We've been talking about it for months now that issuers were trying to get their transactions done before the election in November. Uh, that uh, that uh, recipe still seems to be uh, in place. Again, uh, for next week's uh, volume, what are you seeing on the calendar? Uh, yeah, and and just real quickly, uh, one note on the on the fund flow side, uh, it is worth noting that uh, that most of that uh, 1.7 billion, which came into mutual funds uh, according to Lipper, was directed into ETFs this week. Uh, about 1.1 billion went into ETFs. The remaining 600 million went into uh, into open end funds, uh, and about a billion of that went into long funds, uh, with uh, with the rest of it going to shorter and intermediate term funds. Um, and it, it is definitely worth noting that the vast majority of it, uh, pretty much all of it, was into uh, investment grade funds, high yield funds, having a very flat week. Uh, I, I think just very nominal um, inflows there. So overall, that brings year to date fund flows to over 31 billion, which, uh, to your point earlier, is uh, is a, a very strong uh, de- driver of demand. Right. But uh, but next week, you know, the calendar slows down just a little bit. Um, still pretty robust, about nine to ten billion scheduled to price. Uh, BAM will be active yet again. We've got over five hundred million scheduled. A a few highlight deals, including three hundred and fifty million Springfield Electric Utility bonds. That's going to be priced by J.P. Morgan. Uh, there will be a sixty-five million dollar transaction for Irvine CFD, being priced by Piper Sandler. Uh, and then also a, a $52 million transaction for uh, Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, uh, a, a big tussle project, uh, which is going to be priced by Ramirez. Very good. And viewers can learn more about both the Springfield and the Irvine transactions from our YouTube page. We have Credit Insights videos on both of those being posted. So check them out. Thanks for your time this week, Brian. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks, Mike.